Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you a new plate and stamper that I recently purchased from Dixie Plates through Nail Stamping Queen UK DP09 Gothic Plate. I've used my usual mixture of stamping polishes alongside my Starry Sky Stamper and Scraper. I'll be showing you my swatches, group photo shot and many idea that I've created using this plate. Deluxe Dixie Stamper for shrinking images. I also have some video of how to use the shrinking stamper. All of the product information I will be placing in the description box below. DP09 is of gothic style images and I just simply love this plate. When it was first shown, I knew that this just had to be in my collection. There are 20 amazing images and these are of the largest size images, which I do tend to like more because I have my thumbs and I find that sometimes the images just don't fit my fingers, but these definitely do. The plate swatched really well, which made everything really easy to use. This plate I found so easy that really anybody, even a new beginner, could use this plate and get amazing results. If you haven't looked at any of Dixie plates yet, they're definitely a must on my list. I like how my money has turned out in this and I will be using this plate quite a bit. On to the stamper. Now, Dixie Plates is known for its large images and other companies do tend to make them as well. But when you have small nails, you tend to miss bits of the image. This stamper is fantastic and it's new to Dixie Plates. As you can see, it's quite hard inside the holder, but once you get it outside, it spreads, which is where the image shrinks. You need to be gentle when taking the head in and out of the stamper holder as you really don't want to damage your stamper head. For the shrinking image, I'll be using Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish, my Uber Chic Scraper, and two of the Dixie stamping plates. I'm using DP06 and DP09, and I'll be using my Starry Sky Stamper for the other image. So I'll do a swatch on DP09 first, and I'll be putting it onto my lint roller side by side so you can see it in a better image. So all you need to do is once you have your swatch just pop the head out of the stamper and stamp it. I didn't do anything to this stamper other than run it over my lint roller. I was a little concerned because of its head being so shiny but I, I wasn't. It's picked up first time every time I've used it. It's a fantastic little stamper. Depending on how quickly you work, you might have to make it into a decal. I haven't tried any of these on my nails yet, but you can really see a size difference. On to DP06 now. I wanted to use this image at Christmas, but because it's too big for my nails, I didn't, but now I can. So I'm going to repeat the process again. First onto the white stamper, then the pink. This is only the second time that I've done this, so it's really, really easy. So I hope that you liked this video on DP09 and shrinking stamper. If you did, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could. I'm also always on Instagram, so why not pop over and follow me over there as well. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.